So this right here is a, um, a model, a pipe cleaner model of the inner ear, okay? It would sit like this on both sides. Remember, it's inside the cheekbone. So this is like microscopic. This is just a magnified model. This side and this side have a setup like this, okay? All these canals are full of fluid and they're not supposed to have anything else in them besides fluid with sodium and potassium in it, okay? And that's why when that ratio gets messed up, people have an attack of Meniere's disease. But um, what happens is they can have a crystal. This little bead here represents the crystal, okay? So they can have a crystal floating in any of those six canals. It can be on the left ear, the posterior, the anterior, or the horizontal canal. It can be on the right ear, anterior, posterior, or horizontal canal. So there's a total of six possible locations that that little floating crystal can be. And what happens is, yeah, if you have just one crystal and you luck out and pick the right canal to treat yourself, congratulations, that's great. But the Epley maneuver is only for the posterior canal. And if you do it wrong, and you have more than one crystal, which most people I think do, a lot of people have what I would consider to be like a sediment of crystals. It could be thousands of crystals in their ear. And they do the maneuver wrong, then only part of the crystals, you see how this part of the pipe cleaners are bound together? You see this? Yeah. Okay, that represents a specific anatomical feature in the inner ear, which I wasn't even planning to talk about, but it's relevant to your question. It's called the common cruise and it's a shared entry point of the posterior and the anterior canal as they go back to the membrane where those crystals normally live, which is represented by this point that I'm holding. Those crystals are supposed to be there, but they've run away from home, okay? Either through hormone changes, through head trauma, or through normal aging. Congratulations, right? Can't wait for that. So um, they've run away from home and they've gone floating in one of these three canals in one of the ears. Sometimes people have it in both ears. Can you think of who might have it in both ears? What'd you say? Football head trauma, yes, football players. Car accidents, anyone with a head injury is probably gonna have it in both ears because both ears probably had a crystal flake loose and go floating away from home. But what happens if people have a lot of sediment in there and they do the maneuver improperly, which I see in people that try to treat themselves, and I see it in clinicians that are not well trained, that are just dabbling in this, and they don't really have this specialty, is the crystal, instead of going back to home base, where it's supposed to go, it ends up converting into the other canal, because it doesn't pass through this common cruise, and then it just goes into the next canal. And then they end up having crystals in two canals, this one and this one. And that's much more difficult to treat, much more difficult to treat. It's what we call multi-canal BPPV. And those are the people I usually need to see more than once. So maybe they need two visits with me or three visits with me versus if they hadn't tried to treat themselves, I could probably fix it in one visit, right? If it's the most common type, which is posterior canal BPPV, okay? The thing that's really, um, the reason the self epley works a lot for people is because, um, the inner ear canals are actually not set totally horizontal like in relation to gravity. They are all in relation to each other at a 90 degree angle. So they represent like the three sides of a box if you think of it as the corner of a box, okay? But it's set back just a little in the head, tipped back 20 to 30 degrees. So the most common place the crystals end up, if it's just spontaneous, is the posterior canal because that posterior canal is a little lower in the head than the others. So that's why the Epley works for so many people because most commonly it's in the posterior canal. But if they don't do the treatment right or they have a whole sediment of crystals, then they can convert it to anterior canal, which is much more difficult to treat.